Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing. And let's talk about an interesting line that I ran across in a rather non-conventional way. Being Airflow Pro Staff, you would expect me to know everything about all of their lines, and generally I do. Uh, but there was one line I really hadn't paid any attention to because it doesn't uh, fish the way I normally fish streamers. It's the Kelly Galoop streamer line. And um, so it didn't appeal to me because, you know, I'm usually uh, an intermediate guy for uh, streamers. But my friend had one, and he was talking it up, and he loved it. So I thought, you know what, let me give this thing a try. And uh, so I pinched his rod and while we're out fishing and said, let me cast this thing. And I went, oh, wow, I really like casting this thing. And uh, we had worked on um, a presentation method for smallmouth, which is a, a dead drift, upstream dead drift approach. And if you've seen my uh, video on the uh, Loomis Shore Stalker 5 weight, you see me doing it. I mean, that's exactly how we fish. At the time I was in that video, I was using the Exceed because I didn't have the uh, Galoop line with me at the time. And um, the, the Exceed worked just fine. Uh, but I was thinking, you know, for that short range, really serious junk chucking, you know, a more aggressive taper would probably be a better job. So. When my buddy let me borrow his uh, rod and line and let, and let me give it a try, I thought, wow, you know, this line really, really casts smoothly for, uh, for an aggressive taper. I don't know if you've done a lot of casting for uh, you know, medium distances with an aggressive taper, but it can get ugly if the taper is not well designed. You can get what we call a head crash, where the, the, the force of the turnover goes through so violently, the whole line kicks over, it goes in different directions, and you find yourself having to back off to make it stop it from happening. And then now you're not getting the distance you want, and you're, you're trying to juggle between not enough power and too much power, and mm, starts to get fiddly. I did have that experience with this line, despite the taper on it. I found it rolled out beautifully, and I could carry a heavy fly without any problem, and I can carry it for distance. I could also fish at short ranges because it loads up so quickly. I even managed to get spay cast out of it, despite the fact the taper isn't really built for it. So uh, it turned out to be a very useful floating line, and it brought me back to where I sort of started with streamers, which uh, was uh, I was either fishing a, a full sink or, or a, a floater for streamers. I rarely um, use sink tips in the early days. So going back to that kind of floater sinker mix uh, for streamers was a bit of a going back to the old days. And I've really enjoyed it for the shallow presentation or the dead drift presentation of streamers. Uh, and I use it primarily for smallmouth bass and it's been great. It is an exceptionally smooth casting line for the type of taper it has. And it has that hull section in it, which is very good for when you're going for distance. If you're not familiar with that um, technology, what Airflow does is because they use polyurethane, they're able to flow a different material into a section of the line. So they actually change the materials, the hardness of the material slightly. So the hull section is stiffer and harder. So it wears better and it shoots better. And that's the reason for it. And you'll see there's a color change where that occurs. In fact, I think you can see the color change in this spool right there. You can see that uh, where it sort of goes from the mint green to a sage color. Uh, that's, uh, that's where that um, uh, hard hull material is. So if you're interested in a, in a line that has an aggressive taper yet is still smooth casting, I mean, I could use this for nymphing with an indicator if I wanted to, uh, junk chucking, uh, big flies. Um, you could use it, uh, I put polyliters on the end of this thing and it'll turn them over no trouble. So, I mean, it does have a lot of options on how you fish the line. So if you're looking for a floating solution for streamers and big flies and that sort of thing, and you want a line that's flexible, will cast short as well as far long and still hold its loot shape, well, look at the uh, Kelly Galoop streamer line by Airflow. It, it actually does the job quite nicely. It, it surprised the hell out of me when I first cast it. I thought, wow, this is the short tapered line I've been looking for all my life. So give it a try. Cheers.